I'm Heather and today I want to share with you three of my homemade crappie structures. Now a couple of them are going to cost you a couple of extra dollars, some more to make. Some of them you probably already have a lot of the stuff at the house to make yourself. So the first one here that I have I want to show you is the concrete brick with the wood furring strips. So this one I had a concrete brick. I mixed my fast setting concrete up poured it into my brick and then put my wood strips into the brick. I just had them spread out whatever I thought looked good at that moment. So you can set them in there how you want, but mine are kind of spread out. I do all my shopping for home improvement stuff at Lowe's. I'm a Lowe's girl, not a Home Depot person. I do go to Home Depot though for my flowers because their flowers look beautiful. The concrete brick at Lowe's was two dollars and 26 cents or if you prefer cinder block two dollars and 26 cents the bag of cement the fast setting concrete was six dollars and 63 cents and oscar in there my puppy dog he says hello he's not for sale but the eight foot furring strips and i cut mine in half each strip at eight foot long were a dollar 42. For this one here is my PVC tree. This one, I had my five gallon bucket from Lowe's, you guessed it. And my PVC pipe is three inch, so three inches, and it was 10 foot long, and I cut it in half. I then drilled holes on each side so I can pull the half inch irrigation tubing through and then just cut it to the length that I thought looked good. So items that you need from that, again, shopping at Lowe's. Five gallon bucket at Lowe's, $4.98. The 10 foot three inch PVC pipe cut in half. The 10 foot PVC pipe, $24.46. If you have to buy the drill bit like I did, the drill bit was $4.98. And that again, that was the 5 8 drill bit. The roll of irrigation tubing, that I used at Lowe's was $10.18. The fast setting concrete was $6.63. Favorite one here, and first thing I had to do was cut my PVC pipe into the sections that I wanted. And I cut my PVC pipe into two and a half foot each. The porcupine one is a lot of fun to make. First of all, I get to use the PVC cutters, you know, the snip off mafia fingers. You know what I'm talking about. I love getting that thing out. Any reason I get the PVC cutter out uh, makes the gangster part of me come out. The porcupine spears is that green ball and it comes in a pack of three on Amazon and you use half inch PVC pipe. So the porcupine spears, the pack of three was $59 on Amazon the 10 foot half inch PVC pipe was $4.71 each. Then the little T that I'm gonna use to secure the bricks on for weight to help it sink into the lake, that little T was 79 cents. And then those three bricks, each brick itself was 99 cents. This one is the my most favorite one to make because it's the lightest one to make. And um, don't let me forget, you also will need the PVC glue to glue the PVC pieces into the sphere. So a couple of these is something that you could probably make most of it with stuff you have laying around the house, such as the, the cinder block with the wood strippings or the PVC tree. And then uh, this one is something that you'll definitely have to order on Amazon What is the porcupine spear. And that's what they're called, porcupine spears. And they're good and set on the bag for salt water and fresh water. I'm fishing in fresh water, so it'll be perfect here. These are the three that I made. I'd like to know what your three or your fishing structures that you've made or would like to make. If you could make one, drop it off. And importantly, here's another question for you. Is it even legal in your state to drop things like that in your local lakes and ponds? 
drop your comments in below because I read every single one of them and I'm going to show you how I drop these into the lake. So I'm going to get these loaded up, drive out to the lake and put them in the water. It is absolutely gorgeous out here. Could not ask for a better day to be out in the water. All right, I'm at the lake and I have my crappie structures loaded up on the boat and it was a chore, especially those cement ones. Anyways, I have my marker buoy already out where I wanna throw my, my structures at. And the reason for the marker buoy is so I can get my structures in a row as best as possible. And the marker buoy just gives me a visual cue where I dump the first one, then I'm able to drop the second and the third one. And if you've never seen a mark buoy marker before, you get them at Academy and um, Walmart and they come in a pack of two, a couple of dollars each. I already have mine tossed out there and we're gonna roll up there and dump the first one near the marker buoy about 20 feet out from shore ready here we go almost right over the top and, and it went there we go and now i'm gonna circle back around so i can get in place for my second one and being up on this pontoon boat i'm a lot higher above the water so it's a little deceptive and a little more di difficult to get those in as I'm floating away when I get up to that marker. So the next one, let's throw the spear just to get this one out of the way because it's the most awkward one. All right. Now if you can see the bricks I have attached on the, the sphere now, and it's gonna go, the point of the bricks is to sink it straight down to the bottom and also to drive the, the legs further into the bottom over, overboard without going in with it. Porcupine structure. Ready? Here we go. I have the tree with the three inch PVC pipe. Again, it was about 10 foot tall and I just cut it in half. Cemented it down in this five gallon bucket, irrigation tubes. Tree is gonna go right here. They go down fast. Okay, I got my three structures in the water, my fish structures in the water, and went across them a couple of times to make sure I can find them on my scanner. So the next time I'm ready to come out and fish them, I'll know exactly where they're at. And again, I used my buoy marker, marker buoy, marker buoy. And this is the little, what it looks like. Little, looks like a little H. This is the weight and you throw it in the water and it just flips in the water until it hits the bottom and it marks your spot. Pretty nifty little thing. Only a couple of dollars, you get two of them at, I think I got mine at Academy or Walmart. Anyways, pretty convenient little devices. That's what I use to mark my first spot that I wanna throw my habitat at and then just in a straight line from that, I threw the other two. I hope you had a good time. It was a beautiful day out here in the lake. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll, See you next time.